Okay, so we have time to take just one more question. So please go ahead, brother. Hi, my name is Ivan, and uh, welcome to my beautiful country. I'd like to know your thoughts on Quran only Muslims, why they reject the Hadith, and how do they practice the religion without referring to the Hadith. Brother asked the question that there are Muslims who follow the Quran and reject the Hadith. And how can they follow Islam without practicing Hadith? If you follow the Quran, there are no less than 20 places the Quran says, Atiullah, Atiur Rasul, obey Allah and obey the Messenger. If you follow the Quran, you have to follow the Hadith. If you don't follow the Hadith, you can't follow the Quran. Many places, including Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 59, says, Atiullah, Atiur Rasul, obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So if you want to follow the Quran, you have to follow the Hadith. Quran is a telegraphic message. Many a time for details, you have to go to the Hadith. Quran says give zakat. How much to give? You find in the Hadith, 2.5%. Quran says offer salah. Something is mentioned, not details, you go to the Hadith. So anyone who says that only follow Quran, will not follow Hadith, he cannot practically follow the Quran. Because Quran says, obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So you cannot be a practicing Muslim until you follow Quran and the authentic Hadith, the sayings of the last and final Messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that answers the question. Okay, one last question. Uh, with so many school of thoughts in Islam, can you tell me what happened to Isa? Why the Jews wanted to kill him? Sorry, I didn't understand. What did you say? What did can you tell me what happened to Isa? Isa Prophet Isa. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Said, huh? Why the Jews wanted to kill him and who was put in replacement of him? The brother asked the question that why did Jews wanted to kill Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him? Who was replaced and what happened to him according to the Quran? The reply is given in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 157. It says, Wa qawlihim, inna katal is They said in both the Jews that we killed Jesus, son of Mary. Wa ma katalhu, wa ma they killed him not, neither did they crucify him. It was made to appear so. Walakin should be alone. All those who differ are full of doubts. Illa tiba with only conjectures to follow. Wa ma katalhu, yakina, for a surety they killed him not. So Quran says they did not kill him, neither did they crucify him. It was made to appear so. All those who differ are full of doubt. And then the next verse, Surah Nisa chapter 4, 158 says, Allah raised him up alive unto himself. So according to the Quran, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not killed, he was not crucified. You asked him who was put in his place, I don't know. I know there are stories, Judas was put, this was put, Gospel of Barnabas. Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified, for me it is sufficient. Who was put in his place, whether someone was put, I'm least bothered. Because Quran says anyone who differs is full of doubt. So even according to the Bible I have proved, I had a debate, was Christ really crucified? And from the Bible I have proved that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified. But that will take time, you can refer to my video cassette. So from the Bible also you can prove Jesus wasn't crucified, peace be upon him. And even the Quran says he was not killed, he was not crucified, he is raised up alive. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will come back again. According to the Quran, according to the Bible. Any second coming, he will testify to the Christians. As Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 116, that I never told you to worship me, but I said, Oh, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakul, my Lord and your Lord. Same thing he mentioned in the Bible. Any second coming, he will tell to the Christians that you depart from me, I don't even know you. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has been raised up alive because people insinuated that he claimed divinity. Any second coming, he will testify. He never claimed to be God and he will come as the Ummah of Muhammad Hope that answers the question. Thank you.